working out at the UFC gym in Soho. Working my uh, shoulders, arms, and legs today. Love this machine. It's quite interesting. It helps you keep your bar straight. It's a sort of free weights, I guess, but also a machine that assists in your balance. And the bar from uh, turning. It's just keeping a light. Today, nice easy workout. Three sets of uh, approximately 12 repetitions for every exercise. Shoulder press standing for the first exercise. So I press up and I almost lock out in the top, but I don't. So next exercise is a curl. I go down until my elbows are almost straight and curl it back up on the control try not to uh, pull up too quickly or go down too quickly it's a little bit safer if you go at moderate speed especially if you're not warmed up enough since i'm going like today i don't need to worry too much about uh, injuring myself but i still like to go nice and smooth to get my muscles to work a little bit better, not use uh, too much momentum from uh, muscles that are not intended for this exercise. This is a curl that generally works mostly for your biceps, front of your arms. Uh, it also works of course your forearms a little bit, but uh, if you do too much uh, swaying, cheating, you'll work your traps and your shoulders and also your lower back a little bit too much if you try to bring it up too quickly. So slowly up and slow it down. Approximately one to two seconds up, one to two seconds down, give it a take. If you're working on your speed, you can also go lower the weight so you can go a lot faster with less likelihood of injury and if you like to go super slow same thing keep the weight yeah, light or if you have a training partner they can also push downwards for a harder negative as you resist going down slowly One for the arms on this machine is the overhead tricep extension. Some people call it the French press. It's a little bit easier with a uh, bar that has more curves. But the straight bar is also doable. I want to come down to my elbows about 90 degrees. That way it doesn't put to, too much pressure on my elbow joint. If you're more flexible than I am, obviously you could go a little bit lower. And last set for this exercise. Slowly up, slowly down. Try not to fully extend in the top. Just keep my elbows slightly bent at the top. Come down to about 90 degrees. Next is barbell squat. I usually keep my feet about uh, shoulder width apart, toes pointing slightly wider than my heels bar over my feet, I bend my knee and my hips, I keep my back as a 
neutral as I can, so it doesn't round forward and hurt my spine. So keep the spine sort of straight. The spine is never totally straight because it has to have a certain amount of curvature. But uh, try to keep it pretty straight. Even though you're leaning forward, your spine itself it's uh, pretty straight. Inhale, I usually inhale as I go downward and exhale as I go upward. Some people think the opposite is better. It's up to you. Whatever you feel more comfortable with. As long as you don't hold your breath too long. I feel like when I go down, I hold my breath too tighten my core and stabilize my spine a little bit better and as I'm pushing it back upwards I start breathing out a little bit so the bar by itself is probably around 40 pounds Another 25 on each side, so that give or take 90 pounds. I'm using for the squat. Pretty light, but uh, my legs were already tired from uh, doing a lot of kickboxing before, so didn't need to use much weight for this exercise to get my muscles tired. Lying leg curl. It's great for your hamstrings, back of your thigh. Curl up into my leg. It's at least uh, knees at least 90 degrees. Go down slowly. Nice and controlled. Okay. Nice and smooth. Find neutral even in this exercise even though you're not putting too much load on your spine you have to keep it neutral so your nervous system is more efficient and stable sending signals to your extremities in this case my legs and hamstring Exhaling as you're curling up, inhaling as I'm going down. I generally go a little slower than this. I seem to be uh, speeding up for some reason, this particular exercise. Not sure why I did it. <laughs> Maybe because going a little bit faster is easier. I was tired. <laughs> anyway, seated calf raises. like this exercise. Slightly uh, different emphasis on this than the standing version. When your knee is at uh, 90 degrees and you're pressing up with the calves, it works a little bit of your more of your smaller portions and the lower part of your calves and inner part of the calves a little bit more than the standing version. Standing dumbbell lateral raise for the middle deltoid on my shoulder. I usually like to keep my elbows slightly bent and my palm facing down. Tricep kickback. Back of my triceps. Okay. 
laterals are a great exercise for the mid deltoids, but uh, it's extremely difficult to use heavy weight like this. So I usually keep it below 25 pounds. Occasionally I'll go a little heavier when I feel extremely strong that day, but you don't need too much weight for that exercise. Dumbbell curls, on the other hand, <laughs> sometimes you get to do a lot of weight just from uh, going faster, but I try to keep myself from going too fast. The urge to go faster is uh, strong sometimes because you want to get uh, exercises over the width, especially when your muscles are burning and feeling tired and exhausted. But, uh, you want to get the most benefit from the exercise you can, so I try to slow it down a little bit if I can. I think I was uh, swinging a little bit quickly this time, but uh, usually I try to go slower. I think I was a little bit uh, too tired by this portion of my workout towards the end, so I was going a little bit faster than normal just to finish the exercises because my muscles were so tired. Exhale up and inhale down. That's my usual go to for my breathing patterns. My last exercise of the day is a rear delt and middle back row with the cable. It's probably using a little bit too much weight for this exercise towards the end of my workouts. <laughs> if I was doing it towards the beginning of my workout, the weight the same way I was using was would be quite easy but since this is my last exercise I was pretty uh, tired so I was kind of jerking it back a little bit too quickly and going forward a little too fast exhaling as I'm pulling back and inhaling as I go forward <laughs> all right last exercise last set last few repetitions always feel great to finish your workout and I did a little bit more stretching and rolling after this thanks that's it have a great one